Hello, everyone, and welcome to Digital Woodcarver. My name is Laney Shaughnessy, and today I'm talking to you DWC 1824 mini carver owners out there. Uh, and I am going to walk you through how to set up a USB number pad uh, as a control pendant. Now, I am sitting at a DWC 2440. That's the unit that I have in my shop. Unfortunately, I do not have a mini carver here, but Theo, it's okay because we're, everything we're going to do, we're going to be setting up in the software, which I'm going to show you here in a moment. Uh, so we can set up this number pad and then we'll show you how to use the number pad to move the machine around. Now I'm going to be moving my 2440, but it'll move your mini carver just the same. So use your imagination and pretend that I'm sitting at a mini carver and you'll be just fine. All right. So uh, your USB number pad could be uh, wired, uh, you know, USB uh, that plugs right into your computer, or it could be wireless with a little dongle, either one. Uh, will work just fine. Uh, I went to Staples. Uh, no, shout out to Staples, I guess. Uh, but I went to Staples and got my number pad. Um, you can get it on Amazon. You can go to uh, Walmart. You can go to Best Buy, wherever they sell electronic number pads, USB number pads. Get it, right? Now, a wireless number pad is a little bit more expensive than this uh, $5 number pad here. But uh, this number pad had a lot of buttons on there that I can use. And um, uh, I liked it, so I bought it, and uh, there we go. Because you mini carvers, you know that you have to use the software to move your machine around and everything, and it would be nice to have a pendant. The DWC 2440s come with a pendant, right? The mini carvers don't. Well, I'm going to show you how to set up a UR pad just like a pendant, so that way you have the freedom to move around. All right, let's jump over to the software and take a look how we would set that up. All right, in our Planet CNC TNG software. Now, if you guys and girls are in the 2020 uh, setup of uh, Planet CNC TNG that, that you've downloaded off the Digital Woodcarver website that uh, I've updated recently, uh, a lot of these settings are already set in there. Uh, but uh, for those of you that are not, let's go into the software and set it up. So we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to go down to settings. And in our settings, we want to find shortcuts shortcuts and uh we're gonna scroll down our shortcuts list now what is shortcuts shortcuts is i can set all kinds of different functions and operations i can set keyboard shortcuts uh so i can press a key to run a certain operation right so we can program those keyboard shortcuts in there but in this case i'm using the shortcuts to set up my number pad so let's go ahead and uh scroll down our list it's a good ways down there what we're looking for in our list is the jog section. So let's come on down, on down, on down to the jog section. And um, there we go. And in that jog section, we have things like our increased jog speed, decreased jog speed, our jog axis X minus, X positive, Y minus, Y positive, Z minus, and Z positive. Those are the ones that we're going to set primarily. And in the case here, you can see I've already got some settings in here. You might have to adjust yours accordingly or set them up if they're not set up at all. But for me on my number pad, I have to increase my jog speed. I have the decimal point uh, is the increase. Uh, so I press the decimal and it'll increase the jog speed. My zero, my number zero, is the decrease of the jog speed. My number four is X minus. Number six is X positive. Number two is Y minus. Number eight is Y positive. And then I've got the minus sign for Z down and the plus key for Z up. Now, if I scroll down that uh, jog section a little bit further, we will see our jog axis X minus Y minus, X minus Y positive, X positive Y minus, and X positive Y positive. Those are diagonal movements. And I have those set up as the number one key for X minus Y minus. Uh, number seven key is X minus Y positive. My number three key is my X positive Y minus, and the number nine key is the X positive Y positive. So you simply click in there and uh, you press the button that you want uh, it to be, and it will program it in there if it's not in there already. So click OK. And to activate the number pad or the keyboard at any time, you simply have to single click anywhere in this main area here. So if I single click my mouse in this area, 
then I can now operate the machine uh, with my pendant. Let's take a close look at this pendant or this number pad here. And uh, if we look closely, the number four, the number six, two and eight have arrows underneath them, right? Uh, so if I'm standing at my machine in the operator's position, two is the Y minus coming to me. Eight is the Y positive. X minus is the number four key. Number six key is uh, X positive, right? Minus is four and positive is six. And then my diagonal movements to move that X minus Y minus, that's the number one key. Uh, X minus Y positive is the number seven key. X positive Y minus is the number three key. And then X positive Y positive is the number nine key. My Z up and down is my minus key and my plus key. So I can plus my minus key or plus key. Uh, for up and down and then my period and my zero that's to increase the speed and jog uh, decrease the jog speed so let's go back to the software and take a look at that the jog speed in the software here uh, you normally when you're operating your machine moving it around uh, you would double click on that jog speed number and you could type in a number uh, to increase or decrease it right well we can do that now with our pendant with the number zero key to uh, decrease the speed and the number um, or the period key to decrease. So if we watch that jog speed, if I press the number zero key, you'll see that number go down. If I press the period key, you'll see that number travel up, right? And on your mini carver, your maximum travel distance is 125. Now, let's look at uh, the machine here. Now, you got to use your imagination, right? I'm at the mini carver, but I'm not. I'm at my 2440 in my shop. But hey, uh, let's pretend because it's all the same, right? So I've got my number pad here. I've single clicked in the main window of the Planet CNC program. So now this pad or my keyboard is active. And so my number four key will move my X minus. My number six key will move my X positive. My number two key will move my Y minus. My number eight key will move the Y positive. My plus key will raise my Z up and my minus key will move it down. And then of course that zero uh, will decrease the travel speed and the period will increase it. So if I were to decrease the speed, let's say I bring it down to 29 or whatever. So decrease the speed with, this, uh, with the zero. Uh, I am now traveling at that slower speed and everything. And if I increase that speed up, I am now traveling at a much faster speed, right? So I've got my number pad like a pendant because, you know, the 24 come with a control pin carvers don't and this is a quick and simple way of a usb number whether it's wired or wireless uh as a pendant for your mini carver hopefully you found this uh useful and helpful and uh like i said i got mine at staples you can go anywhere to get a usb number pad even on amazon and stuff you can go wired or wireless and in another video I'll show you guys and girls how on your mini carver, your 2440, how you can set up a game controller, a video game controller as a pendant as well. So that'll be a video coming out soon. And until then, I'll see you next time.